just want to practice correct trade of our chess pieces see if we can build on being a jack of all chess trades and a master of none let's capture here that's pretty straightforward let's block the pawn from pushing down onto the knight that makes sense let's just get the knight across and develop the bishop get ready for castling in my head I'm thinking was that a waste of a, a move because maybe they could have developed their smaller pieces so what's this queen actually planning on doing and plus it's blocked the rook from coming across here as well anyway we have to make up something of it we you know at the end of the day we feel that's a loss in tempo maybe of two do we need to rush and panic i'm just going to bring the bishop back and just see what we i think we can do this dance for because they've blocked their rook queen's own in the file it's not like we're doing anything major but i'm just hoping that we can position we've got our king some company so feeling happy that's where bishop's been blocked so now they're attacking we can take this pawn i don't really want my element here but he doesn't have anything else supporting so let's take invite the knight in let's attack the queen support of the knight bishop's obviously defending yep let's take just keeping it real simple there's a two on one here so we could take the pawn have to be very careful here but we have support of our queen because of this bishop take thing because he's got his queen there So this feels fairly okay we're only plus one but like you know we like to see if we can improve the position more than anything i mean it does have attacks like this but we do have the knight being able to come here getting a fork on the king and the queen so they're probably safer just doing that which then gives them our queen Ooh, i think they missed an opportunity because that's where the problem would have been yeah if they had taken and my queen had gone up the bishop just comes and puts a check on my queen doesn't have any support there marvelous right so we're thinking of bringing the bishop here if the bishop takes pawn takes don't really like the knight being there i'm just going to attack the bishop i don't really want that situation in fact to come come up again poor knight oh okay it is a white square bishop so should we not take this way let's take this way because we don't want to get whammed on this side and let's get this knight moved out of the way give the king some company or oh, move the queen but probably bring the knight back Okay. Give the king some company. Hit the rook. I think I'm going to fall foul, aren't I? Just move the knight out of the way. Yeah. I'll do all this dancing and still lose my queen somehow. So my king's got company they're focusing somehow on trying to get across here are they going to do a rook rover type thing oh no okay right soon Can we get the queen up what position do we want to have i think we need to get the queen activated somehow maybe to here 
bishops. The bishops wanting to do something. Let's get these queens off the board. If they don't, then we can start maybe mobilising here because the queen is supporting the knight, attacking the pawn. Seems a bit basic, but it's all I've got. So that was a major, major mistake we did earlier then with that knight. Oh, we're going for the exchange. Whoop, whoop. Is there anything better before we go and do that? Because I've not really thought they would do. Nope, let's take it off the board. So the knight's going backwards. Knight can go and attack the bishop. I'm going to attack the bishop. Oh, I'm excited. So we've got a nice little end game thing going on now. And at this moment, like we said, this rook was a little bit squished in. Now it's squished in again with this rook. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that tiniest bit of tempo loss is going to help us develop our pieces a bit quicker. Knight doesn't have any protection, so maybe give them something to think about with the rook. King's move, so we could take the um, bishop off the board. It does accelerate his rook down. He's also protecting the pawn here. So we can attack the knight because, like we said, it's got no protection on. Giving them something to think about. It can dance wherever it needs to dance. Am I improving its position? I don't know. But we're attacking it at this moment in time. Rook's not coming here because we'll get the bishop for free. Excellent. So now we can put a two on one on this bishop. But I think the bishop will just move. So do we take it with the knight and then just attack the rook? I think that's what we're going to do. Keep it real dirt simple and then attack the rook. Could probably comes and doubles. Yeah, so in this situation, I am simply just going to capture. This is end game bread and butter as far as I'm concerned. So rooks want to come here to attack the pawn. So we could bring the rook up or could bring the king across to get ready to maybe potentially trade. So I'm going to bring the king across. These are the types of games people don't like to play, which I'm hoping we're improving on. So they've jumped into the night, this area here, and I'm struggling to see why, because the pawn is here. Our knight is protecting this area. Are they looking to push the pawn down or something? I don't see it. So I'm actually just going to attack the rook like I was planning. I don't think they will exchange. I think they'll dance and attack the pawn and stuff. So I'm hoping that that was a total waste of a move. Unless of course they were looking to do an exchange this way or something. A fancy way of getting the knight off the board. They've actually taken. So the position of the knight really in my eyes is not helping them so they're gonna probably have to go back we've got a poor majority on this side so if we can get the king motivated well if we go motivated he's attacking this pawn so we're kind of held to ransom aren't we for a bit so i think moving the knight first to then challenge the knight and then our king can get into the game Bearing in mind, we have a poor majority on the far side, so probably need to get that activated. Yes, these types of end games. Uh, ooh. So the knight does escape. Let's touch it anyway. Let's attack it. Attack in. That and that. I'm hoping it gets itself trapped, but it's got plenty of space to go to. You'd think he'd go to this one because it's attacking this pawn. It's not going to that one, so let's go here. Then he attacks the other pawn. Comes around here attacking this. So it helps elevate our pawns up if he keeps on attacking the pawns, which is good for us. My key thing is trying to get my king into... Oh, okay. Trying to get my king into the middle. If I go here, it baits him down. 
So we take and he takes. So it may bait him down, it might not. So don't rush these just yet. So his king has moved across. So let's start pushing these now. What's my knight doing? He's attacking pawns here. Could look to activate, but I don't really want them pushing their pawns down just yet. I probably could have done. Getting a fork here, but he's stopping that. So let's just get these pawns elevated up as best possible. So knights want in here, but the knight's protecting. So we'll grab. And that messes up the pawn structure up a little bit, doesn't it? If we go here, he takes, takes. Let's just hit. We do have a majority. Something will come out of the wash. Let's attack. I think they're going to think they're being clever by blocking here. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, so is their king fast enough? Let's move the king up. So he goes across. So... If we go across... He can't go here anyway, so he's gonna have to go there. He can't go there. So we could hit the pawns. And then he just locks down. Yeah, I just hit the pawns. He just locks down now. Yep. So then he's got movement here, movement there, and there. Yep. So we're gonna move the king now. I move the king up. Can push the pawn up. Oh, he's not bothering. He's not bothering. All right, okay. Let's go with the king. And they've resigned. Let's uh, do, do, do. Yeah, no. Just going to highlight the detriment of the game. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's so wrong. <laughs> so wrong because all they need to do is that if I go here, then he's got the check, then he wins my queen. Okay, second game in the recent session. Jack of all chess trades and master of none. Let's see if we can get through this one without any blunders. Last game was a little bit blunderous in the early part. Let's just take it nice and steady. Let's not get carried away with narration mode because we get excited. Let's bring the bishop through here. Nice and steady, simple chess. Okay, loss in tempo, but they're going for the slow grind of the diagonal with the bishop. Let's castle. playing the sitting waiting game which is a little bit slow but what can you do let's just x-ray through to their queen let's try and take advantage of this slow development that the opponent is going through slow laborious let's just bring the queen here opposite the king it's got a fork here which would be quite nice for them and we're going to lose a bishop so this is me moving too quick but we shall see I don't mind being a bishop down if it opens up space around their king. And hopefully we can cause them some danger. Yeah, I don't know. But we've lost the bishop. <laughs> That's two. Twice. In the first game we did the knight move. They've not taken advantage of it. Oh, that's a shame. Again, the opponent's not taking advantage of their my silly manoeuvres. So I'm going to bring the queen here. I'm way too giddy. I'm trying to calm down, but my brain's just like, oh, we're just getting there and play. I'm going to take. Only piece I can take is this. Don't have anything to get to there at the minute. Rook could go opposite their queen, but two or more on the pawn. I'm going to do that. If the knight moves and forgets itself, I suppose it could go here attacking our queen. But we can just take because our queen is supporting the bishop. He has moved. Yeah. But he's moved to the other side, so we're not getting any, any major advantage. 
So we can't take here because his bishop is defending. So if we take and his knight takes, then we bring the bishop here. Or do we just move the big queen out of the way? Let's just move the queen out of the way. Yeah? Or keep that diagonal on the pawn. Yeah. Keep the diagonal on the pawn. Maybe we can bring the bishop here at some point, but I think that's just gonna lock it down. Queen's moved off of the diagonal, but we've still got the diagonal here, which is probably not gonna stay there for too long because it's gonna get touched up. So we could put three on there. We could drop the pawn or take with the knight. Looks like my bishop's struggling, so I'm thinking, well, we need to sacrifice it if anything. So it's not sacrificing, sacrificing. It's um, tripled up. Oh, I've got a little bit of smarts this one, haven't they? Okay, let's just bring this here. Takes. Whoa, let's take. And they're getting excited now. Right, okay, so the king's just um, sitting happy as Larry. He's going to move the knight, attacking, attacking. It's defending it twice, so it's no real. If we go and attack it again, do we get trapped? Going to attack it again. The pawn. So if he moves down, then we can just come back again. And the key thing. Oh, are we trapped here? Do you know that's the problem, isn't it? I know it. I know it. We go here. And then his king goes here, or his rook blocks, or whatever. Yeah, his king comes here. My knight can't escape. So my knight will be here. If he moves across, I'm trying to get my knight out. He's got this pawn here. So I'm gonna, I'd have to push onto his pawn. His king moves again. His king's a little bit slow, isn't it? So maybe the rook does it. Yeah, so I take, he brings the, he attacks the, attacks my knight, simple. Hmm, attacks my knight, I can jump back here. So maybe not, that's not the way, maybe they attack the knight here. No, there, maybe I don't need to worry about it. Give it a try, give it a try. Something's telling me I'm getting trapped, so I, it looks like I, if the king is planning to do that, we have time to disturb this pawn, I think. Oh, and they've left the game. Did I take too long? Oh, we claim victory on that. Quick analysis check, just to have a look at the situation. Oh, look, the king move. The king is moving. And we said we were going to do this. And then if they did that, then the knight escapes at least. Okay, that's fine. So we would have got away with it. No problems. Okay, 10 minute game. Zero increment. Oh, fire flanker. Let's just push the pawn here. And let's develop the knight. Simple chess. Obviously, there's a... Not an issue, but, you know, bishop coming here, sitting here, that type of thing. So we have to be ready for that. Let's just take. Let's push the pawn, make some space for the bishop. Let's just take the knight. And the bishop's wanting to sit here happy as Larry. Let's just bring the bishop out. Pawn's doing a nice job blocking the knight at the moment. So they think they'll be looking to Queenside Castle. From this type of position I've seen many times, um, they look at this as being the, yeah, the bee's knees of their attack towards the king's side. So I'm actually going to bring the bishop here, bait the pawn, just extend it a little bit more. And just bring the bishop back here. 
because as you can see they've opened up the kingside portal so there's no real reason for them to castle on the kingside anymore I didn't expect the queen coming down so what is the queen actually think it's doing because our bishop can just hit it so what is its plan is it plan to just come here to prevent the queenside castling if we're queenside castling and then the bishop can come and attack the queen here so again not really sure what the queen is doing so I'll just bring the bishop back oh it's attacking the pawn it's going for a greedy munch not improving its position in any way shape it's just greedy munching the pawn and as we know in the greedy munch series that we have done in the past and in recent they lose tempo in developing their pieces for the queen going for the pawn so we can now look to get our knight out here and I don't think I'm too fearful of actually kingside castling now because of that one tiny um, loss in tempo might not seem like anything but the more you play your games of chess you, you may get to get a feel of well I can now do this because X, Y and Z they're not developed and it's not too frightening what they're doing so we're going to bring the knight out like we said so I don't need to worry about that now so we can get the king's safety on the king's side so they'll continue attacking through with the pawns whilst they go on queen's side castle but I feel fairly kick yeah, if bishop's out no problems go to castle like we said and everything's happy so now we can take the pawn with the um, bishop take the bishop with the pawn rather so don't really mind at all having an open space in front of my king because it's safe theirs isn't safe that is the que that is the quintessential thing now our bishop can attack the queen it's attacking the pawn here and we can just bring our queen across now looking to face off their king get the rooks here facing their king because it's in my head it's going to be home alone all their pieces are focused on our king's side queen's going to come down for a greedy munch but the position is to me it's nothing for me to worry about so all that seemed to happen fairly quickly and hopefully i've explained what for me where, where i'm thinking the pluses and minuses are for us so now they've reassessed their situation rather than going for the greedy munch of the pawn they've gone oh there might be something in what they're doing I'm going to bring the queen up why obviously because it's attacking the knights here but then it has a little squish on the king here which may come into play later in the game they're still chomping at the bit to come for the pawn unless they haven't seen it no nope, they're more concerned about what we're doing at this moment so i'm going to put the check on the king thought it might have been a bit later because i thought they were going to still continue i'm going to take and just bring the bishop across and attack the queen this time the pawn will drop but then it is blocking the queen from actually attacking the pawn do have the rooks getting ready to get settled get them around yeah so the pawn does drop so we can bring the bishop back can bring it to here attacking their pawn but the only reason i probably won't do that is because it's just going to drop this pawn here and i don't then have an immediate attack support with this if it does drop there the pawn takes pawn takes i'm still going to have to move and then he's got his rook opening up the file it's probably still going to push the pawn anyway so i think we're going to come here and then we're going to hit the queen when he does the pawn move because he's going to be focused so much it's coming for our bishop so we could attack their queen and just see where it goes because for the moment it's blocked from attacking this pawn so if we get it off the line then we don't need to worry so much about the queen taking this pawn and all the while we're trying to get so if we had a dark square bishop it would be lovely but we haven't so we don't want the queen sitting there just for sitting there sake trying to think of how we're going to get across so he's gone supporting his pawn he's attacking our pawn here it's a greedy munching queen 
so I'm fairly happy so now we can take here if we come up for this pawn or defend the pawn I don't really want to be doing that I want my queen doing something let's attack the queen because it's doing nothing there I think it's time they're plus one at the moment so we need to reposition our rooks we've got their rook in the center of the board which is good so we're owning a file at the minute the open file so that seems to be a bit of an advantage they've got an advanced pawn they'll be looking to champion that so the plus one you really would think that they would exchange so oh they've not it's attacking this pawn here it's a greedy munching queen this is such a greedy munching queen wow so we could attack the queen then he comes down and attacks this pawn or we could just defend the pawn by bringing the king up I'm going to bring the king up make it a bit active so we're owning the file so maybe we need to start getting the rooks up as simple as possible surprised they didn't exchange but it's a greedy munching queen all right so let's shall we go for it or do we take and then he opens up space around our king going to bring the rook up oh i'm going to bring the rook here taste of a check on the king and a potential checkmate threat at some point so that's an interesting one i'm going quiet now obviously he's coming back here but you know it gives them something to think about for a brief moment need some luck on my side uh, this is number three of our session yeah they've gone and defended okay we can take this pawn it's got no protection on it now there's no exchanges of the queen so there are plus one so we could in theory take the pawn but then he's going to take here then the queen can take then his rook comes and puts a check on our king oh that might be a bit of a sore point let's take don't want to overthink it now they have put potential pressure on our king this rooks oh that's different it's not done what we thought it's not done what we thought at all so if we take then his pawn takes or if we just push up or if we just attack the queen just attacking the queen He does have a check on us, but we can just take. I suppose he can go here. Ooh, that's clever, isn't it? If he puts the check on, we take. There's space here. Yeah, he's going for cleverness. Sh falling for it. Because his rook can come here. The king has to move and he wins the queen. Ah, ah that's a little bit too chiching for me if we moved here then he comes with the check uh, yeah <laughs> good job I spotted that but I don't think there's much I can do about it now is there I can move the king out of the way well maybe move it here but then his queen can come and put a check so do we just move here just move here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just moving here. That's very clever. Dirty, tactical rubbish. Damn. <sighs> Wonders will never see, sir. Trickster. Does he exchange or does he jump around? looking to attack something doesn't look like he's uh, he's like a greedy munching queen this one so he's not interested he's plus one again so look he's off again if we take his pawn takes 
our king can't come up to defend. I don't like this player. I'm going to just take. Uh, yeah, there's something not right. Let's just come here. Yeah, it's not right. Okay, so we're into one of these end game things that people don't like to play. So we've been practicing, as we've said. Hopefully we can do something with it. But this player seems to have a little bit of special skills. Yeah, his knowledge of getting the king away so that they can take pieces is a little bit frightening, you know. But if he does push, we can go here, but then his rook comes and puts a check on. But then we can take the pawn here. Yeah, okay, let's go with this. If they take, go here. If the rook does come and put a check on, we can take this pawn. His rook then takes in, then we go here. That's as simple as I'm putting it. This player has got too much of that. Oh, let's get the king away from them and do... Yeah, yeah. It's amazing though, because the style of the player, you, they won't change their style throughout the game. So once you understand where what type of player you're playing against, you can kind of try and circumvent it up to a point. Or, well, try your best. Because you know what they're going to do, what they're trying to do. And this player's done it twice now. If we hadn't have spotted that rook attack on the king potential to get my king away from my queen, he would have got our queen for free. And a similar type thing is they're looking at doing again here, but I don't think it works out for them. Unless, of course, he brings his rook here already, because there's no threats now on here. But now they might be too late to the party. Yep, because we're looking to just get the rook off the board. Yeah, dear. So I'm going to come here, attack the pawn. And then he's going to attack our rook and own the file. That's really not what we're wanting, is it? If we come up and attack the pawn, he drops down. King can take, like we said. I think it's crucial to try and keep owning this file with the rook as best possible. which one comes across this one because like they know there's no threat here now the queen's gone so this one comes to protect the pawn do we have time to do this type thing then they go back draw he's brought that rook down he's chomping at the bit for this pawn isn't it so i think he's going to bring this rook here and double up on this pawn Ooh, if we hit this one I bet we lose out, don't we? We hit this pawn, and he brings this rook attacking this pawn. Although it's not a check on our king, we can take, he takes. Let's bring this rook here. We've still got this rook on this open file. So we can take, but obviously, are we losing something? Losing ownership of the file, probably, because if I take, he takes, my rook takes, he comes to own the file. Dun, dun, dun. Takes, 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 rook comes here push comes down push so our palm would be quite nicely placed wouldn't it do we go here let's take this way let's jump in here still do that but then he does that Oh, it's taken. All right, let's go. But like we said, ownership of the file. We want to push, push, push. No, it's not doing the ownership. So we could attack the pawn to take it off the ball, keeping it simple. So any attempts at coming here is going to be a bit too slow now. 
Let's take. Maybe I could have taken with the queen, uh, king there. So. And take with the king. Get the king over the other side here because his king's looking to activate. We have two minutes, he's got 46 seconds. Don't think they've got enough time to do much damage if they got past anyway. But just make sure. Get the king across. <clears throat> Can never be too sure, just nice and steady. bring the king here just potentially sit it here but I think they'll just block bait the pawn don't want to trap the king though if I go here then I can't even come out can I <laughs> that, that would be funny wouldn't it let's yeah let's do that yeah, so they're on nine seconds unless there's a magical check that oh my gosh there is a magical check of some sort coming in let's hit the palm let's hit the king take the palm hit the king hit the king zero seconds excellent that's a nice session okay that'll be the end